welcome to the Battle Drill Devotional Podcast with Captain Rob Westwood Payne. Today is Monday, the 10th of June. This week on the Battle Drill Daily Devotional Podcast, we learn about making God's way our top priority. Each day we share hope and encouragement as we read and study the Bible together. Today our Bible reading is taken from 1 Samuel chapter 8 and verses 10 to 20 and I invite you to turn to it just now in your Bible. Samuel warns against a kingdom. So Samuel passed on the Lord's warning to the people who were asking him for a king. This is how a king will reign over you, Samuel said. The king will draft your sons and assign them to his chariots and his charioteers, making them run before his chariots. Some will be generals and captains in his army. Some will be forced to plough in his fields and harvest his crops and some will make his weapons and chariot equipment. The king will take away your daughters from you and force them to cook and bake and make perfumes for him. He will take away the best of your fields and vineyards and olive groves and give them to his own officials. He will take a tenth of your grain and your grape harvest and distribute it among his officers and attendants. He will take your male and female slaves and demand the finest of your cattle and donkeys for his own use. He will demand a tenth of your flocks, and you will be his slaves. When that day comes, you will beg for relief from this king you are demanding, but then the Lord will not help you. But the people refused to listen to Samuel's warning. Even so, we still want a king, they said. We want to be like the nations around us. Our king will judge us and lead us into battle. A 101-year-old woman was being given cognitive tests in the care home where she lived. The staff psychologist was trying to figure out the level of her mental alertness. So she asked her a standard question. Who is Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? The lady didn't miss a beat. She replied, Honey, I'm 101 years old and I don't care who's the Prime Minister. The psychologist wrote on the woman's chart, that she was appropriately oriented to the world around her. There are times when even rulers of nations get no respect. Despite this, God's people told Samuel they wanted a king. The Israelites' insistence on having a king to fit in with other nations highlights the cost of conformity. Despite the warnings, their desire to be like others led them away from God's perfect plan. This historical account serves as a powerful reminder that the cost of conforming often results in spiritual and emotional consequences we might not foresee now. Our choices to fit in can distance us from God's unique plan for us, leading to unrest and dissatisfaction. Reflecting on this story helps us understand the importance of seeking God's guidance, even when it challenges cultural norms. Take a moment just now to reflect on past decisions influenced by the desire to conform. Ask God for the wisdom to recognise these patterns in the future. Make a conscious effort to seek God's will first in your decisions, trusting that His plans for you are greater than the world's expectations. You may want to think more deeply about these thoughts today, in which case this reflection question will help you. When have you experienced negative consequences due to conformity, and how can this awareness guide your future choices to align with God's will? I 
I hope to see you again soon for another Battle Drill Daily Devotional. If you would like to subscribe to Captain Rob's Battle Drill Devotional, wherever you choose to listen to podcasts, or if you'd like to receive them direct to your inbox, head to www.equippinghispeople.com forward slash devotional and follow the instructions.